In today's video, we're going to explore a unique and exciting use from Convertible RP and War Thunder. As many of you know, Convertible RP has been around for a while, but its purpose has evolved over time. Today, I want to discuss how I think it can be utilized to allow players to research rare and unique vehicles within War Thunder that's been took away from the game. So if you like these types of videos, remember to like and sub to the channel. It is very much appreciated that you guys support the channel. Before we get into the specifics, let's quickly address why Convertible RP exists in the first place. Initially, it was introduced to prevent newer players from reaching top tier solely by spending money. However, with in War Thunder, that's kind of changed because the evolving economy within the game. You know, now you can buy top tier premiums. You can also pretty much just G a bunch of stuff whenever it comes to modifications. And it really doesn't prevent people from getting to top tier where used to back in the day, probably in around like 2013 to 2015, it did because you couldn't just make an account and get directly to jets and you couldn't directly get to top tier tanks. But now you kind of can just by buying a premium. The effectiveness of that feature has diminished significantly. There really isn't a point on having convertible RP because basically you can just do whatever you want to anyways. And just for an FYI, I've been playing War Thunder for 10 years and I've accumulated over 61 million convertible RP. So let's put that in a little bit of a perspective. So if I was to utilize my 61 million convertible RP, how many 400k researchable vehicles could I actually get whenever it comes to that? And if I do the math and you know my calculations are correct, I could approximately get 152.5, you know, 400,000 research, you know, vehicles within War Thunder. And if you think about that, that's quite insane to be honest, because I don't really think there ever be 152 vehicles that are added to top tier within War Thunder whenever it comes to 400,000 RP. Maybe in the future, whenever we just have a ton of tanks and ton of aircraft but as of now some of the rank eights within the air tech trees only have like one or two vehicles so i don't ever think i would ever hit that maximum but i would be able to just research everything within the game with 61 million convertible rp so I don't think they'll ever add it to where you can just use all of your convertible RP towards your tech trees or anything because that would just make the grind completely super easy to do. Like it would almost make it, you know, too easy to be honest because you'd just be able to get whatever you wanted and then the newer players within the game just wouldn't have anything. But if you've been playing the game for a very, very long time, you could just research everything, which I don't think is a good thing because, you know, some people like to actually research within War Thunder and I am one of those types of people. One of the most popular suggestions that's been floated around within the War Thunder community is the ability to trade convertible RP for Silver Line. While it sounds appealing at first, there are some challenges with implementing this idea. You know, I don't totally disagree with it, but I also understand from the Gaijin's end point of it, our point of view of it, that it's going to be something that could be very, very hard to actually implement because there's a lot of balancing within the War Thunder economy itself. Many players have accumulated substantial amounts of convertible RP, some even reaching tens or hundreds of millions whenever it comes to convertible research points. You know, this poses kind of a problem when it comes to determining the exchange rate because if you make the rate too low, then it really wouldn't make sense for anyone but, you know, people who have millions of, you know, convertible RP to actually use it. And it wouldn't be a feature that I think actually newer players would probably benefit from the most because if you think about it, most people who are in the hundreds of millions, you know, whenever it comes to convertible RP, most likely don't have an issue with silver lines within War Thunder. But people who are, you know, getting near their like first million or, you know, at like 500,000 or even like probably, you know, 10 million, they probably have some sort of issue within silver lines. So if you make this change rate extremely, extremely low, then it really wouldn't make sense for, you know, either party because for one, I don't really need silver lines. And for two, you wouldn't be able to get any because the exchange rate of it is so low that it just doesn't make any sense. On the other hand, if the exchange rate is very, very high, then you know older players would just have extreme amounts of SL, meaning that whenever these loot boxes come around where you're able to just, you know, get your, you know, roll for, you know, rare vehicles in the game and also get market coupons, all that sort of stuff, you would just have a ton of SL to spend on that sort of stuff and kind of manipulate the market in, I believe, a very bad way because it would just make it to where some things go extremely high, some things go extremely low, and then you just have a system of where people that, you know, just played the game for longer now control the market within War Thunder, which I don't think is a very, very good thing to have happen. It's not to say that the concept is entirely flawed. Like, I think that you can make, you know, a convertible system. You know, it just depends on what the exchange rate is. If it's too low, then like I said, it's just not going to make sense for the people who actually need SL. And if it's too high, then you're going to have a problem with people who would just abuse it and just go buy loot box things whenever they come around and get a ton of, you know, coupons and everything and kind of just make the, you know, market prices go extremely insane. So I don't really know how to introduce it to where you get silver lines, but at the same time, I feel like the best, you know, course of action is what I've actually think 
talked about is that you can use it to research rare vehicles. So now let's dive into my proposed solution for convertible RP. One of the significant issues within War Thunder is the limited availability of some rare vehicles within War Thunder. Some iconic tanks like the Panther II, the Tiger 105, or even the Quellian that have been removed from the game for various reasons, including no historical accuracy. And also like you have stuff like Italy, whenever Italy came into the game, Germany lost all of the Italian aircraft within this tech tree. So you're no longer able to get them, but players who already had them can still use them. Same with the Tiger 105, same with the Panther 2. And to me at least, I feel like that's kind of a problem with War Thunder because if you're not able to get these sort of vehicles, some of them being extremely meta, you're not able to be on the same competitive level as some players who played just previous of you that had the opportunity to grind some of these vehicles out. And I'm not even mentioning a lot of these vehicles, which are, you know, stuff like the TU-2s, which is, there's a TU-2, I believe that's a very low BR that has a very good bomb load that you're just not able to research and not many people even have the vehicle whenever it comes to War Thunder. Now, I feel like that's a huge problem whenever it comes to these sort of rare vehicles that they take out of the game. Even if they're taking them out for historical reasons, I feel like War Thunder at the end of the day is more or less a game. You know, a game that's supposed to be fun, a game that's supposed to be, you know, able to be competitive whenever you're facing other teams. And whenever you just have vehicles which have been took away from players where some people have it and some people don't, at the end of the day, it's kind of not fair. You know, it's one of those things that kind of has to be talked about because, you know, even vehicles like premiums, even vehicles like, you know, event vehicles, they have the same kind of a stigma around them of if you have this vehicle you can have a competitive advantage which is a super bad thing in War Thunder and I feel like something like this where you're able to use a convertible RP system to be able to research some of these hidden vehicles within the game can be a very good thing for War Thunder. The one problem that I have though is the recent additions of some of the vehicles that they're adding currently you know that do not adhere to some of the reasons of why Stuff like the Panther 2 and the Tiger 105 were removed from the game, such as the M1 KVT, for example. That vehicle never existed. It only existed in the M1A1, which is not coming to the game, but the M1 KVT is coming to the game as it being a, you know, kind of real vehicle. It's kind of like a, you know, a abomination of a vehicle, to be honest, because, you know, it's not a it's not a 120 Abrams, it's a 105, and also it doesn't have the same rounds and everything. It doesn't look the same, and it's kind of like a play on history. You know, you can definitely say the same thing for like the Panther 2. It was a play on history because Germany really didn't have anything that would be able to compete against T-54s because, you know, they lost a war and everything. And then basically the only thing that they had at the time was, you know, concepts that maybe they could have made to go against some of the later World War II tanks. But sadly, you know, Germany did lose. You know, now at the end of the day, you know, so you have stuff like the M48, which just took over the places of stuff like the Tiger 105 and even the Panther 2. After all, War Thunder is ultimately a game. I feel like that's one of the biggest things that needs to hit home whenever it comes to, you know, historical accuracy stuff is that, you know, all players should have the ability to at least go after these vehicles again. Like, I don't think that they should be exclusive to just the people who were there during that sort of time whenever these vehicles were added because, you know, they got the chance to get it and now they have an advantage that some players won't have. And I feel like this is probably one of the best ways that you can do it. You know, you can use this convertible RP system, which doesn't really have a use, where you're able to give people the ability to actually research some of these vehicles. And I feel like that is going to be a strong way to actually make convertible RP usable within War Thunder. I feel like this kind of, you know, supports both Gaijin and the players because maybe you don't make it, you know, where you get like stuff for extremely cheap. You know, maybe you have to spend 20 million you know convertible rp to get your panther 2 or something ex extremely high within war thunder but i do feel like this is, could be a fair way to actually do it within war thunder so in conclusion while convertible rp has been a feature in war thunder since the beginning its original purpose of preventing direct payment for top tier access is no longer as relevant therefore repurposing the convertible rp is something that kind of needs to happen i feel like you know doing it to the researching rare vehicles would be one of the best and fairest ways to utilize this whole entire system however it is essential to distinguish between rare vehicles and market vehicles you know allowing people to go after like market vehicles with convertible rp would be something that i don't really agree with because at the end of the day you know you do have people who grinded out those vehicles legitly through their events and that maybe they want to sell it for you know different things different premiums you know to get premium account within war thunder and i feel like if you're able to just grind it out with you know your convertible rp then all the prices of that stuff will go down i feel like it's like a double-edged sword with the whole market it's very bad that some people scalp people with it but it's also really good that even if you don't pay a 
penny into the game, you're able to use it to get premium account and all sorts of stuff like that. I hope you find this discussion on the potential use of convertible RP and worth and engaging and thought provoking, especially if you have like suggestions on how you would improve this, or even if you like the suggestion of adding it as silver lions, I'd really like to hear that sort of stuff in the comments. And maybe this sort of video can spark discussion on maybe getting a new news for convertible RP. So if you do like these types of videos, I do have videos kind of like this where I go over ways to earn silver lions and also which is the best ground tech tree to play. So if you like these types of videos, remember to like and sub to the channel. It is very much appreciated. Also, thank all of you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next War Thunder video.